Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video we're going to talk about trade history and how this can be used for your trading strategy. As you can see I've loaded up my Shrimpy trading tab. I'm on the Binance exchange and I'm currently looking at the BTC USDT trading pair. This is one of the most if not the most active trading pairs on Binance and we could see that the trade history shows all of the trades that have been executed on this trading pair in real time. The individual trades move pretty quickly, so it might be hard to completely grasp what's happening. But as we could see, there are two different colors of trades that are being executed. There's green and there is red. The green are people who are buying Bitcoin and the red are the people who are selling Bitcoin. When somebody crosses the bid ask spread in order to buy or sell Bitcoin, these are the trades that result. One question people typically have is, are these makers or takers in the transaction? And the answer to that is these are takers. The difference between a maker and a taker is a maker is a person who places an order on the order book. A taker is somebody who takes an order on the order book. A taker crosses the bid ask spread in order to take a trade on the other side. So when you see a red here, there are two people in that transaction. There is a person buying Bitcoin and there is a person selling Bitcoin, but the red means that the taker was the person who sold Bitcoin. When the bar is green, that means the taker is the person who bought Bitcoin. We can also see that based on the size of this highlighted area, this determines how much Bitcoin was bought or sold. This is based on the size right here. Besides the size, we also have the price. So we can see the price at which Bitcoin was bought or sold for each individual trade. And we can see the exact time that these trades were executed. Since this market is moving pretty quickly, we could see that there's multiple trades being executed every single second. So it's pretty difficult to keep up. But there are other markets that are a little slower, so you would be able to see the individual trades as they are processed by the exchange. So how does this help us with trading? If you are a trader who likes to do day trading or swing trading, this is a way that you could quickly see the current direction that the market is moving. If there is a lot of green, that means the market is moving upwards or buying. If it's red, there are a lot of people selling, and that means the market might be going down. So of course, when there is a lot of activity on the market, it's difficult to tell if the market is going up or down. But that's also why there's these visual indicators to help you determine which way the market is going. If you see a lot of large red uh, highlighted areas, that means there is a large volume of people selling Bitcoin driving the price down. If there are a lot of large green highlighted areas, that means there's a lot of people buying at very large volumes to increase the price of Bitcoin. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help any way we can. We hope to see you on the Shrimpy application, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.